Hi Stoolers, welcome to explore the world of Stool Creative Space with Captain Laser. Today, I'm going to teach you how to efficiently utilize the multi-layer functionality in the 1.3 version of XCS. Before diving into this tutorial, make sure you're familiar with the basics, like designing shapes, adjusting settings, and controlling devices, otherwise, you might struggle to keep up. We will begin by introducing the layer function in XCS followed by two examples showing its application. Example 1 will show you how to create layers and use it to edit customized drawings, while example 2 will describe how to deal with multicolor drawings brought from an online store. Finally, we will provide some useful tips to help you make the most use of this function. Let's cut to the chase. What exactly is a layer and why is it useful? In XCS, layers are determined by the different colors of vector objects facilitating parameter adjustment and element editing. Previously, if you wanted to assign different processing modes to various elements, you had to edit them one by one. However, in the new 1.3 version, you have the ability to sort elements with the same color together, which allows for easier editing and management. For example, all purple objects on the canvas belong to layer 3. So when we click on it, all purple objects are quickly selected with one click, then we can set their various properties or parameters. By using the layer functionality, you can quickly select and batch edit objects of the same color, significantly boosting your creative speed. I bet you'll love this new feature. In the first example, we'll show you how to utilize layer functions for a customized vector drawing. Open XCS and locate the layer panel in the bottom left corner. This will be our main focus today. So, first things first, we need to create three layers for our drawing, one for the outline and hole, set to cut, one for the panda, set to engrave, and one for the text, set to score. Select the outer shape and circle hole, right click, and choose the color red to create layer two. Another way to create a layer is by selecting all the text, clicking move to in the layer list, and selecting blue. All your text is now in the blue layer. By clicking here, you can collapse layers to free up your screen. In this condition, you can still use right-click to move objects to other layers. Next up, let's copy those pandas by using the grid array function. Select all the red objects and set them to cut mode, then set all the black pandas to engrave mode. You are all set. Let's move on to our second example where we'll show you how to deal with vector drawings brought online. In this earring design file, the seller has kindly provided instructions indicating that the black vector objects should be engraved while the red outline should be cut. XCS automatically creates three layers for the red, black, and green objects on the canvas. Now, let's set all of the black objects to engrave mode according to the note. Manually selecting each object on the canvas would be far too tedious. But with the layer functionality, you can easily select all objects in layer 2, black with just a click to set these black objects to engrave mode. Next, click on layer 3 to select all red objects and set them to cut mode. The green letters aren't necessary for processing, so simply click on layer 1 and delete them. Now, it's time to hit the process button to burn your work. Now that we've learned how to use layers to organize our graphics, let's dive deeper. Layers have a few other handy features that are definitely worth exploring. Want to remove a layer? Easy. Right click on the layer and delete it in one click. Made a mistake? No worries, the undo button at the top has got your back. When it comes to renaming, simply right click on the layer to rename it. Just as easily as we named our engraved layer. You can also double click the red layer to change it directly to cut. We've already talked about collapsing and expanding layers. This nifty feature makes your canvas more flexible and saves space while keeping the interface neat and tidy. But wait, there's more. Here are a few important things to keep in mind. Layers have nothing to do with parameters. You are actually assigning parameters to the selected object, not to the layer. This means that when you select a red layer, you're setting parameters for all red objects. So, after setting parameters for all your red objects, if you add a new red object, 
it'll still have default parameters. Don't forget to reset them. We will continue to optimize and update the layer function, so please stay tuned. Congratulations! You've learned everything about the layer function. Isn't it a game chainer? Go ahead and give it a try on XCS. Don't forget to share your creations on Stool Community, we can't wait to see you there.